Another thing that I like from uh, from Faber Castell um, is the Albert Durer watercolor pencils. I love them just as sketching pencils because um, they tend not to bleed back onto the opposing page in your sketchbook. Um, they really stick nicely. As a drawing pencil, just for general drawing purposes, um, they're really nice. You know, they they feel more buttery than graphite. Like they're really sticking to the page a little bit more. When you get dark with them, they get pretty dark. Um, and then the cool thing is, if you carry around a water brush, which is you know, it's kind of like the a lot of fine artists think they're a little bit cheesy. The water brushes, um, and maybe they are, but you know, whatever. You can do like a full-on drawing with them. You know, and very quickly get you know a postered out sketch you know like if you're drawing you know if you're drawing a head or something like that and you're just sketching out something got your got your head there getting the eyebrows in get the brow ridge you know get hair whatever and then you want to just go in and kind of you know, do a study of how the lighting, the light's working. You know, you can do like a real quick thing. And then you go in and if you only have like a couple seconds to sketch something, but you want to get that quality of light, you know, and, and poster it out so you you kind of remember that for the day, like you have this opportunity to do it. And, you know, in a few seconds, you can get a quick value sketch ready to go. And then you can kind of just draw with the leftovers on there and it works out really nicely. So um, I really enjoy these things. I came around all the time um, and I have for years. And, um, you know, if I were to pick just one thing to sort of travel with in my pocket, it'd be like this combo because, you know, it's not like a pen. It's not going to like leak in your pocket. Um, I mean, maybe the water brush would, but it's just water, so it's not a big deal. Um, and I like it as a drawing combo, you know, this as a combo or just the um, colors on their own. I like the uh, Kaput Mushroom Violet because it's like a violet, but it's not super intense. Um, this red, the, um, standard dark red is great. Um, one of the things you have to be careful with, with these particularly is they change a lot depending on the light. Um, and they change a lot when you put water on them. See how intense that got? You know, I like this green, um, the chromium green opaque. Um, it's good for when you're working on like some landscape stuff because it's a green that's kind of hard to mix with component colors and it mixes well against this red, the dark red, now, if you're doing a complementary color thing. I also like the standard dark indigo because um, it, you know, looks pretty muted um, and then when you wet it down it gets a little more saturated but not too much and I find that it, get, it can get very dark. Um, you know, sometimes I keep this just like the dark sepia out because um, it gives me like a warm dark to work with. That's fun. Um, yeah, I don't usually mix that in with any color, but it's possible to. And then I keep the panes gray around because compared to the sepia, it's a cool dark, um, but it's not quite a blue like the uh, dark indigo is and um, those are the ones that I keep in my like general drawing kit right now um, so highly recommended again a fun medium to use and super useful for you know quick sketches on the go